Alright, what is up Transformer fans? This is the video review of Transformers Prime Cyberverse Commander Class Ultra Magnus. And I'm super excited. I've been waiting to review this guy ever since I got him. He's so cool. I'll go ahead and take a look at his weapon first. It is, um, in vehicle mode, it's this, it's a turret and it's kind of got a long range sniper gun thing. But, um, you can, you can have it as a sniper. Or you can bend the handle down and it becomes the Magnus Hammer that we saw in Animated. So, that is, that's his weapon. It's a transparent blue. The handle's kind of flimsy, so when bending it, I really suggest grabbing it up here so you don't, like, snap the handle off. But other than that, it's a very nice handle. He does have the port there, uh, a plug there, a plug up top here, and then there's two ports on either side of the hammer. So, that's his weapon. There are uh, a couple places to put it. You can plug it in the port up here on top. To have it right there. You can plug it to where I had it right there on the back, which is where it should be technically if it's a turret. Um, it's right there so we can swivel around and shoot at stuff. Or you could plug it in here on the sides. Have it point forward. I don't know. Anyway, moving on to Magnus's vehicle mode. He is a cab over, which I'm very excited to see considering it's not 1985. So, um, it's, it's cool. He's got, it's a cab over truck, which is very nice. All we've seen is long nose, and he is not a repaint of Optimus Prime, which is good. So he is a cab over truck. He's mostly this beautiful blue with red stripes down the back, or down the side. He's got some chrome detailing here on some instrument panels, and you can see his legs clearly right here, but it is a cyber He does have a very long back, so I feel like he would work as a car carrier, even though he... You can fit a Cyberverse vehicle on there. Um, I'll go get Cliff Jumper. Once again, unprofessional. So I got Cliff Jumper, and then I grabbed a vehicle too. I had them. I have them spilled out over there on the bed, just because I did. But yeah, you can kind of sit a Cyberverse vehicle back on the back there. Have him uh, as a car carrier. So I suppose it works. But uh, he does have a nice translucent blue uh, windshield there with a silver grill, silver bumper, yellow headlights, basically your average truck. All the wheels roll, which is nice, except those on the inside. Those are decorative. Um, but yeah, he's a very nice truck. I'll go ahead and compare him to Ironhide here. As you can see, he's, he's a pretty beefy truck. He's a lot longer than Ironhide is. There. They are, it, it's a really cool truck mode. Um, go ahead to transform him. It's a pretty simple transformation. What you want to do first is come underneath here. And it splits the front. And these come up and out to the side here. Like that. And then you can lift that up. And that's the head. We'll rotate the waist all the way around. Split the legs. And the feet just come down. Like I said, it's a very simple transformation. But it is effective. And then, oh yeah, one last step. You pull these panels down to make his big shoulder pads, which is cool. And once again, very simple transformation, but it's effective. It, it this looks like Ultra Magnus. So, um, good on you, Cyberverse, making a simple but effective transformation. That's what it's for. So, um, here we go. There's Ultra Magnus. I'll turn him so the camera. The the lens for the iPhone is over like on this side. So. Um, I kind of have to twist the figures. Like, the figure is looking this way. It's, I'm sitting directly, I'm pointing the finger. No. That, that's pointing the finger at me. So the lens is shooting it from this angle. So when I'm, this is sitting, looking, having him look straight at me. This is having him tilted to the side so it looks like he's looking at the lens. So, sorry, if I fumble with that, it's because I'm new to using an iPhone. So, um... That's Ultra Magnus. Um, I'll go ahead and put his hammer in his hand. You can just have him hold the end, but that doesn't work very well because his hands, as you can see, are open. So he kind of doesn't doesn't get a good grip on the weapon. So uh, he can hold the hammer, which is good. It looks cool in his grasp. He's just holding a big old hammer. Um, and also, if you want, you can plug it in, take advantage of that, and have him use it as a sniper, which is kind of neat. I like sniper rifles on Transformers. But, um, anyway. I will compare him to the two greatest 
leaders of all time, Optimus Prime and Megatron. So there they are. He is a little bit taller than Optimus, just a little. Um, maybe it's because I've got his... But he's shorter than Megatron. He's a little bit taller than Prime, a little bit shorter than Megatron. He fits right there in the middle, which is good. I really do like this size scale. Um, he, he works. He feels, he feels beefy, but not too overpowered for Optimus Prime. Um, his shoulder pads give him a big thick look, but the legs are thin here, and it just, he's kind of got the animated Sentinel Prime build. He's really buff on the upper body, but kind of skinny on the lower torso. And uh, I'll go ahead and take care of his posability. These uh, shoulder pads can swivel any direction you want, so if you want them sitting up to reveal the arm right there, I mean, you can do that, but it seems silly. But he does have a uh, full ball joint here in the arm with a slit there, so his arms go like that. And then he has a full ball joint on the elbow. The waist does have a swivel for transformation, but it is off-center, so he kind of looks like he broke something. His head, he can kind of look down and because of the transformation. And he has a ball-jointed hip. It's kind of limited, though. And the knee is <laughs> not a very effective bend, maybe 45 degrees. And then the toe also bends about 45 degrees right there. So other than that, that's Ultra Magnus. He's really awesome. I think this is a great figure. Um, I've, this video has run a little bit shorter than the rest of the ones I filmed tonight, which is surprising because I felt like I had a lot to say about Ultra Magnus, but other, <laughs> he's just awesome. Let me go ahead and get a close-up on his face because uh, I didn't do that with Dreadwing, but uh, it'll be okay. I'll get him closer. There. There's his face. He looks really cool. He kind of has a youthful appearance in the toy crotch section. Just kidding. Um, he has a youthful appearance in, in the toy itself, but on the, on the box art, he kind of looks old. Kind of like Alpha Trion old. But, um, anyway, that's Ultra Magnus. He's really cool. I really think that he's a, a great figure. And if you want, you can, uh, try and reenact. I don't know. It's probably going to break a thumb. But, uh, I'll just stick it right there. You can reenact the animated Optimus Prime using the hammer. So, I mean, if you want to. Um, other than that, that's Ultra Magnus. He's really cool. I really, I would, I would pick him up. Like, if you see him, I'd pick him up on site, because he's a really cool figure. I, I hope he gets in the show. He's like Ironhide. He's got a couple toys coming out now, and we don't know if he's going to be in the show or not. But I hope we see him in the show, because this is a really cool character. Anyway, thanks for viewing this video, and goodbye.